Last week, Akai dropped a highly anticipated standalone plugin called Flexbeat for the modern day NPCs. What it does is exactly like Gross Beat in FL Studio where you can have all these crazy time manipulation effects inside of your NPC in standalone mode, which was big news. However, I noticed that you are not able to make your own presets from scratch like Gross Beat and Akai fixed that. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this at all. So I wanted to give a special shout out to Cap because if it wasn't for him, I would not know about this at all. So I will have his YouTube channel linked in the description box. I just want to pay it forward and I think y'all should check out his YouTube channel because it's on the rise. So in order to do this, you need to own a copy of Flexbeat. You can also try it out for free. It's on sale right now for $39.99, so 40 bucks. Just in case, if you didn't know, if you want to run the Flexbeat player inside of the MPC, you need to update your firmware to version 2.0. 12.2. If you already own the VST version of Flexbeat, you need to go to the M Music Brand Software Center. So make sure that you download that and then go to my software, scroll down until you see your Flexbeat and you can activate it or update it right here. I cannot stress the importance of downloading the M Music Brand Software Center because that's the only way that you'll be able to install your VST plugins and your standalone plugins as well without having any issues. Make sure that you check and see if you're running the proper version of Flexbeat. All you have to do is just click on the Flexbeat logo and it will tell you version 1.1. That is the correct version. So I have a loop here and I'll just play some of the loops here. I have it linked in the description box. They come from the place that you already know, 16 levels. And we're gonna use this one right here. Let's cover some of the basics of making your own preset in Flexbeat. The first thing you need to know is going to the library. So if you hit this folder sign, then you can go and pull up all your libraries that exist inside of here and you can go to your user presets and so forth. But what you wanna do is establish empty. So let's say I wanna replace that. I'll just drag it over here and make another empty. So let's go ahead and drag all these over and erase everything in this template. And that way we'll have nothing but empty stuff to work from. Now we'll just click on the folder and there are two different parts that you need to understand about Flexbeat. Uh, you have time and then you have volume. So one will control time. So if I was to draw something out on the grid right here, and let's go ahead and uh, play the example. And I drag something down. Let's go ahead and right click and it will automatically do something. And you can go ahead and manipulate time. Now from here, you can do volume too, the same way just by right clicking or two finger gesture and it controls the volume. So if I was just to hypothetically draw some nose in, then I will have this. And every single one of these dips are when the audio turns off. So let's go to another empty preset and let's talk more about the other features like editing and the snap. So when we want to manipulate time, all we have to do is go to snap grid and we can right click and you'll see that everything will snap. However, if you go to edit, then you can edit stuff a little easier in that manner. Snap is tied to snap grid. So if I want to do 1 16th, 1 16th will make the grid smaller. While if I go to 1 3rd, it will make it bigger. So let's go to something like 1 4th. So that way we can draw the nose perfectly. And also you can shape the nose too. If you grab a node, then you can shape it. So from here, I can use this to edit it to the line and let's hear our sounds. I can continue this process and draw some more nodes just by either right clicking or two finger gestures. And then I can straighten out the nose even more to get a more decisive feel. The more I draw the note down, the crazier the sound will be. Experimenting is key to understanding how time manipulation or volume manipulation could work in your favor. You can also right click or two finger gesture 
and rename stuff. You can clear it and reset it just in case you don't like it. You can change it to loop, one shot, hold, and you can also save it for later. And once you save it, it will pull up this right here where it'll be an XML file. So you just make sure that you will just save it wherever you want. You can also go to the hamburger menu, which is right here, the three dots, and you can flip it vertically and you can hear how it sounds. And there's nothing coming out of it right now. You can flip it back. You can normalize the levels. You can change the sliding point move. So you can change that. And you'll also notice that it will tell you everything that you did at the bottom, like you see all the information. So how do you export it so it works with the Flex Beat Player inside of your MPC? If you go back to the hamburger menu, then you'll see some more options at the bottom here. You'll see in version 1.1, Export Bank. So it says Export Bank Flex Beat Player. So we'll choose that and then we'll just make a folder or we'll just go to the desktop and then we'll name it something. I'll just name it uh, Av McCree. I will save it onto the desktop. You can make a folder. On my MPC Live 2, I will just go to menu and then go to the MPC icon right here, which will put it into controller mode. I'll just do don't save and then it will pull it up. We're in controller mode right now. Make sure your MPC is plugged up to your computer. I have my SD card pulled up and what I'll do is I'll make a new folder and then call it Flex Beat Presets. I open up the Flex Beat Preset folder. Then I'll just take this folder and move it over and then I'll drag and drop the Flex Beat Presets that we made. It was called Ad McCree. Then I'll close the folder. Then I will take it out of standalone mode. After that, I'll start a new empty project here and then go to my browser to grab a sample so we can test it out. I'll grab the same sample here, then go into main. I'll just pull up a loop clip, a clip program, and then I'll pull up the sample in here. And here we are. The next thing I'll do is pull up Flex Beat. So I'll just navigate into here. It's in a copy professional presets for me. And then flex beat players right here. And then what I'll do is I'll open up that folder that is on my drive. And from here, I will pull up the flex beat presets that I just made. Load. And it is right there. And I'll just do a little bit of dry and wet, but there it is. Oh, I ain't done yet. If you happen to be an FL Studio head like me, well, guess what? You can go right over here to the drop down menu, go to save state file, then you can see that the envelope state file, which is FNV, can be saved, which means that you can ultimately pull up presets from your gross beat preset library, drag and drop it right over here into the slots, pull it up, and then just save it, which is crazy. Once you save it in this file format, you can save it anywhere that you want. Go right back into Flex Beat, go in the hamburger menu, import. I'll go to my desktop where it's at, and then pull it right up into Flex Beat. How's it sound? So basically you could take existing gross beat presets, then put it into flex beat, then put it into your MPC flex beat player. Yeah. Which reminds me, we have gross beat presets on sale at 16levels.com. Link will be in the description box. To the right of me, I have more content for that ass. Make sure that you subscribe. What y'all think about this new flex beat update for the VST version? Um, I think I'm gonna spend some time and make a flex beat player preset bank so that everybody can get on this wave. <laughs> Coming soon.